Only one word is structure. Structure. It's right here. And I found it through this book, Your One Word by Heaven Come Through. Before I talk about Success Principle 3, make sure you guys click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you can stay tuned to more success principles for you to find your structure for life. This is Success Principle 3. You got it, Success Principle 3. And if you guys are new to my channel, do check out the first two success principles. It's right there in my description, click the link. All right, let's get on to what Success Principle 3 is about. Visualizing your passion. First, we need to understand what is visualization. Visualization is about creating a clear mental picture of something. Okay, it could be like you went for a birthday party last month and you tried to recall the events that happened or it could be some kind of music that you like and look at the different instruments or it could be a book like this which you love to read and look at the different chapters and you have a mental picture of what's going on, right? Now, we are going to do this exercise together. I want you guys to think of the most distant memory you have had in your life. Maybe sometime in your childhood you had a fight with someone or you had an injury and someone came to help you like what happened to me think of that memory think of what happened and make all these events come to life on paper yeah i'm asking you to just draw out what happened on paper now this brings me to the next point of our visualization which is about attention to detail in visualization you need to be meticulous okay so look at all the details of what happened say let's use the same analogy about the birthday party okay so you went to a birthday party you look at the number of people that turned out how many candles there were on the cake and so on and so forth so using the same exercise about just recalling your memory think of how many people were there how many people supported you or what was going on and pay attention to each detail because each small detail makes a big difference in the setting, in the environment. Of course, when you do this exercise, it makes you feel so nostalgic and good. So if it does, do do it consistently, all right? So to recap, visualization is creating a mental picture of something as well as paying attention to detail. For those of you guys who don't believe that visualization is a good thing, let's look at Elon Musk's biography book of what, how Elon Musk imagined things, all right? What Elon Musk, who, who was Elon Musk, right? He could see images in his mind's eye with a clarity and detail that we might associate today with an engineering drawing produced by a computer software. Okay, that is how detailed his thinking and his imagination was. It allowed him to see things out in the world, replicate them in his mind, and imagine how they might change or behave when interacting with other objects. So essentially, what I'm asking you to do is to think of the most distant memory and visualize it in your mind, paying attention to detail. And this actually made Elon Musk the CEO of three companies and so successful right now. You can be successful if you follow this video and do what I say. So what's next? What of to understand visualization? You need to visualize your passion. That's number two. To do that, you need to first find your passion. I read the book, Your One Word by Aaron Carmichael, which I showed you at the beginning of the video, and it helped me to sum up my passion in one word and execute it to start this amazing YouTube channel for you guys. Now, what I want you to do is find your passion. Of course, you don't have to buy a book. You can explore yourself or click on the link above to my previous video where I talk about passion in Success Principle 2. Now, after you found your passion, the next thing to do is think about what are your goals. So what do you intend to achieve from this passion? Okay, if you are a pianist, right, and you like playing music, maybe you want to have this big talent show where you attract a lot of people and show out your talent. So maybe that's a goal that you have. And I have a really important note to make. It's a side note that not any video talking about how to read faster gives you this strategy, okay? It's an important strategy. Visualize as you read. I did this and I could read the Elon Musk biography book super fast and it helps because a picture speaks a thousand, thousands of words. So back to the two points that I made. Visualization is about a clear mental picture and meticulous about details, right? So I want you guys 
And think of your goals and think of the exact things and exact details you want. Be it fame, be it recognition, be it recognizing your talent, be it relationships, be it money, it could be anything. You need to decide for yourself and push your creative imagination as far as reality could perceive. So why is this important? You're asking me why the hell should I visualize a goal app? I understand you. I want you guys to understand this thing. If your goals are unclear and undefined, you don't know what you're going to achieve, it's like going faster on the wrong ladder. Going faster on the wrong ladder, on the right ladder, leads you somewhere else. So it's going to be a path to doom, 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 rather than a path to success, success, success. So you need to have a clear mental picture of what you want to achieve through your passion so you can work towards it, all right? So essentially, find your passion and then visualize your goals. Then what is next? What can I do about it? So number three is apply these two things to achieve success. Number one, first principles thinking. Number two, discipline. All right, what is first principles thinking? Let's deal with this thing. Okay, I did cover about first principles thinking, something that's embodied by Elon Musk. So do click on the link above to look at my previous video where I explain in detail what is first principles thinking. It is amazing for you guys to hear. Okay, let's take the same pianist analogy that I talked about some while ago, right? In this video. Okay, so he wants to have, he or she wants to have a concert. Okay, maybe he wants an audience of around 500 people and is thinking, how can he achieve these 500 people? He has to take it step by step. Maybe he can say, he can call 100 people and ask them to tag along with four other people and that makes 500, right? And then you think of other things like studio lighting, um, renting a studio in fact, calling hosts, and the entire set, the entire orchestra. So essentially, I want you guys to take a step-by-step -step approach to achieve the goal that you want in your life. Not go 100% all in one day and just cram everything in a single day and expect it works out. It's not going to work out. Consistent effort to achieve your success. And that brings me to my second point. Okay, so it's first principles thinking and it's discipline. You need to be disciplined. It's about persistence and consistency. Take continuous efforts to achieve your goal every single day, be it small or big. It does make a difference. And you guys need to understand that if you want to achieve your goals in life. So after visualizing your goals, you need to have first principles thinking and discipline to achieve your goals. Why is this thing working? You're asking me. It's because you're guided by your inner voice, your inner compass, rather than by some clock on the wall. Okay, if I fact I have a clock, you know what? Freak this, just throw this away. You are guided by your inner compass and what you want in life. Not what the clock tells you with deadlines and deadlines and to-do lists, it's not gonna work out. So let's recap what happened in this video. First, you understand what is visualization. It's about having a clear mental picture and being meticulous to details. Then we understood how we visualize our passion by first finding our passion, then defining our goals. Then how do we reach our goals? That's the third part of the video where we analyze first principle thinking and discipline as core in achieving our goals and be guided by your inner compass and not by the clock on any wall around you. All right? I'd like to end this video with an amazing quote by Albert Einstein. Imagination is better than knowledge. Harness the power of your mind, your creative imagination, your self-awareness, than just reading books and gaining knowledge. You apply the knowledge and then follow your passion and achieve your goals. Stay tuned for principle number four in my next video. Thank you.